Welcome, everyone. I'm going to be talking about the Lotties today. Uh, quick little disclaimer, if you are new here, before I get into the changes, make sure that you check out the description below. There is a link to the Google Sheet that I use in all my videos, and uh, there's a lot of very important move buffs and changes. Basically, every single move was buffed or changed, so definitely give those a look. That's super important. That being said, Lati twins. First and foremost, Latias got a, chi a typing change, lots of typing changes in his hack. Um, you know, just for the sake of uniqueness, for the sake of Mons not overlapping with one another. I don't want Pokemon that are too similar to each other. I want every Pokemon to have its own little role, um, especially when it comes to like abilities. So um, this is actually one of the cases where it actually does fit really well anyways, but it always bugged me how similar these two were um, and how Latias is like almost always better than Latias. Um, and it's just kind of fucking lame and I don't like that. So Latias is a dragon fairy type, which is also very fitting if you read the Pokedex entries talking about um, how it's highly sensitive to the emotions of people and if it senses hostility it makes cries or whatever and it understands human speech um you know reflects light light being typically associated with fairy types sometimes um you know it fits pretty damn well um obviously yeah they still have psychic powers but tons of fairies have psychic powers tons of pokemon in general have psychic powers doesn't really mean anything um and this is again just really cool to keep them uh different from one another so i like that a lot um they also both have mirroring abilities so latias has magic bounce while latios has magic guard um both of those are obviously incredible abilities with their own little um, benefits and pros and cons um, but another really important thing is the speed boost here so they both lost minus 10 attack and defense um, which is you know Latias's in 10 defense is kind of like a, oh no I'm less bulky physically but like you already really take it specially and the 130 speed is more than worth it so you have to keep in mind that in this ROM hack speed tiers in general are a lot higher I wouldn't even say higher necessarily but just, there's a lot more fast Pokemon um, I have this really handy little guide here if you want to check that out uh, and you can see uh, here where they stack up currently 130 is pretty goddamn fast right now but 110 would be very crowded um, and like cluttered and these you know they're literally jet they're jet pokemon they should definitely be pretty damn fast hence also why the megas have speed boost however something that worth mentioning with the megas is that it's not really that like i don't even know if i'm gonna make them obtainable in the first place for example like mega mewtwo and gen like isn't obtainable there's a few pokemon that aren't obtainable i might not even give the player the mega stones but if they are obtainable they will be post game for sure or at the very earliest they'll be like in the pokemon center before the league and i doubt it's most likely at a post game we're not even gonna bother putting them in there because there's a lot of space issues with putting items and mega stones and shops and these are not a priority uh, uh, for me to put in because the base pokemon are already really fucking great and you don't who cares about the Mega Lotties, man? They're what, my least favorite Megas. I fucking hate them. Um, but yeah, Speed Boost is an incredible ability on them, obviously, and they have great stats, you know, mirroring each other's stats. Uh, Mega Latios especially is a very good mixed attacker because 130 speed with Speed Boost means you don't have to run any speed investment, so you can just run max attack, max special attack, and just go to town with your mixed sets like Dragon Ascent dropping your attack, or Cycle Boost, or Draconic Beam dropping your special attack, and Draco Meteor, of course, and you can run those uh, moves, and uh, that's just really fucking cool to me. Um, so yeah, that's super awesome. Um, Latias and Mega La sorry Latias uh, is still more defensive, but it's also you know it's pretty damn strong. One time special attack and Magic Bounce is really great for utility. So not only can you switch that in on you know any type of status move and you know bounce it back, but one of the best things in game that Magic Bounce can do is bypass Taunt and other sweep prevention uh, I uh, moves. So for example, a lot of Pokemon might have something like Heart Swap or Roar or Whirlwind, which are all priority moves that are used to like phase the opponent. Haze is not priority, but that's still a, a hazing. I think I don't I don't think Magic Bounce bounces back Haze anyways because it doesn't target the user or the, the the it targets the field so haze you can still be removed but like priority moves like whirlwind roar and all these other stuff that are used uh by the ai to stop you from sweeping ladios doesn't give a shit about that which is really fucking great because um you know you can use call mind and barrier and stored power which uh, also gives you plus one special attack however it has limited 3pp for balancing reasons um and you can also baton pass your boost keep in mind though baton pass is negative priority now um which is just like a balancing choice as well uh, reflect type uh, Z Reflect type will give you plus one to all your stats, so you can baton pass that, or you can abuse it yourself. However, you keep in mind that you do lose your Dragon Fairy staff, unless the Pokemon you're copying is Dragon or Fairy. But, you know, if you have access to the trainer documents, which keep in mind you do have access to those, um, you should be kind of planning when you're using these moves. So you might want to specifically copy a specific Pokemon's type and then teach specific TMs to get stab. For example, you could copy a Psychic type and get stab stored power with Z Reflect type, and that's really fucking strong, you know? Stuff like that, you gotta be smart with it. Um, their other ability is still Levitate. Levitate is a great ability, especially on Latios, because he is, I mean, they're both relatively frail physically, so, you know, getting a free switch in on physical ground moves is great. And then special ground moves, despite the fact that you have solid special defense, or even great special defense in Latios's case, actually in both cases, it's good, great stats. Um, you know, 
with all the power levels and shit in this hack, you know, a stab, earth power, stab, lands, wrath, all these powerful moves, mud bomb, they're still going to do a shitload to you. You know, they're going to chunk you pretty damn well. So you're going to, you know, having that complete immunity is always great. So you just use the ability capsule when you need levitate. Otherwise, you're running magic bouncer, magic guard. As for Latios, magic guard's incredible. You got that life orb. Obviously, in competitive, this would be fucking insane because my man would take no hazards. So it's like a built in boots. But this is not competitive. This is balanced or in game. And hazards are not a factor in game because um, they have really, really, really ever switches out. So you would only ever use rocks or something to break a focus sash or something. Um, but that being said, Magic Guard, still great ability for Latios, mostly just for Life Orb. Uh, and also, I guess being immune to like Toxic and stuff is nice, but it's, it's not really a factor. The main thing there is just Life Orb Magic Guard, which is insane. You know, the free 30% boost, um, which stacks with all your stab, and you got 130, 130. It's just a beast. Um, they do have more coverage now as well. And like I said, Latios can take advantage of those mixed sets on the Mega. Base form, I wouldn't even bother, but Mega, you can definitely do that. Uh, he has a good move pool for it. All kinds of really powerful moves. Check out what all these do in the description down below because I don't want to waste time going into every every single little nitty gritty move change and buff, but there's a lot of them. So just look up what all these moves do um, on your own time if that interests you. But you know, a lot of them are very powerful. For example, Draconic Beam and Radiant Outburst are 180 base power minus four special attack type moves uh, with 3pp. So those are very powerful. Um, and you have like Clerkan and Draco Meteor Cycle Boost, Dragon Ascent, which are the regular 150 minus two moves. You got all types of coverage, all kinds of great utility, um, especially on Latias, who has like, well, they both have Roost still. They still have reliable recovery. But Latias has, again, Heart Swap is great to like stop sweeps and swap boosts around. Um, all kinds of awesome stuff, all right? It's, they've got great tools. Uh, you really just, I mean, uh, Draining Kiss is great for Latias. Uh, disarming voice, dropping attack and special attack is really nice as well. You know, all kinds of fun stuff here, okay? So just check out what these do in the description. Um, but as for the buffs, I think they fit very well. Magic Bounce, Magic Guard, kind of like a little mirror thing there. If you do read Latias' dex entries, it talks about how it reflects light in a way that becomes invisible and stuff. So Magic Bounce fits very well. And I was like, all right, well, Latios can have Magic Guard. It's psychic type, who cares? And Mirror is a magic bounce from Latia, so I like that a lot. Um, that's really about it. Um, they are not the same fucking Pokemon, but slightly different anymore, which is a really big deal to me. I hated that so much. Um, Mega Latis are still very different because of the typing, but stats are also pretty damn different. So they're, they're very different Pokemon now, which is really awesome, and they're obviously great. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much for listening. And lastly, I will mention about legendaries in general. This goes for all. Uh, usable legendaries in the hack, they are balanced to be used, meaning by the time you obtain them, they're viable, obviously they're viable, but they're not broken or anything. Like they're designed to be on par with regular Pokemon at that point in the game. Um, some of them might be even as early as like Ulul Island and some of them will be as late as like Pony um, Island. So it really just depends. But yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much for listening. If you enjoyed this, make sure you check out the description down below and look at the other changes. And also, something I don't mention in these videos that much is, uh, you know, share this with friends if you are really into this kind of stuff and you like it. You know, share it with your friends. Be like, yo, look at this cool ROM hack. That would be super cool. You know, I'm trying to grow, trying to hit 1K subs, trying to get more uh, more of an audience. So, yeah, um, thank you so much, everybody. And I'll be back for more. We're basically done with Holland. There's like, what, two more things left? So, yeah, bye-bye.